Hi, this is Minnie with an unwrapping rather than an unboxing of a Blythe doll. And look at the way she's been wrapped. Uh, where's my address? There. So hide my address. Um, the seller just popped her in a bag and sent her all the way to England from China. I like this. She doesn't even have any bubble wrap around her. <gasps> well, I don't normally do this, but I am going to name and shame this shop. This is terrible. Okay, well, she's out. No face protection. I think every Blythe I've ever bought has had that hard plastic face cover on her. Not this one. Uh, so yes, I don't normally name and shame shops, but this one was a bit funny at the start as well. Um, it took quite a while for the shop to ship, but first they got into contact with, oh, quite a while after I ordered her. And um, they sent me a picture of her in the messaging function asked if I was happy and if I was happy they would send her out and she could then not be exchanged or returned um, I said I was not happy because she was on the wrong body she's supposed to have the um, original Takara style body so I said no nope, I'm not happy uh, she's on the wrong body I will not accept this doll oh her hair is nice um, and then the seller said uh, sent me another picture and said no you're wrong or something like that she's on the right body um, so I said again no she's on the wrong body it's not supposed to be a one with this many joints um, but then I thought it through and also uh, looked at the prices if I wanted to change a normal body to a jointed one it would cost a lot more money it's twice the price of um, an original style one so I thought okay well I can just buy a normal body which I might do look she's so weak oh these are even weaker than normal oh yeah so I'll be buying a normal body for her as well I will try to fix the knees though um let's put her in something to wear that's better it's only casual little outfits, but it will do. It'll keep her warm until I make her her very own dress, which will be a dress designed by Beth Ramsden. I got this last September, I think, and I cut out all the fabric and I traced the pattern onto card. So yeah, I cut out all the fabric and then the weather suddenly got very 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 cold and i thought oh no <laughs> i'll sew it next year and well that's now um i watched the tutorial and i wrote down all the instructions on the back they're very easy to follow but actually when i do sew it together i, I know how to sew i've made lots of dolls dresses but you know um i'm still going to watch the tutorial because it's a very good tutorial so uh oh her eyes yes you can see they're a very nice shade of brown lovely oh yellow orangey yellow a nice shade of green Ooh. and a very deep blue nice well, let's check the back of her head Oh, oh, honestly, <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> eel. Okay, so today is the very first time I've ever worn false nails. I wore these in an earlier video that's um, already up. Uh, yes, they're lovely, but they really get stuck in doll hair and my own hair as well. So let's bring her up. Yep, you can see this is all completely fake, of course. Well, it, no, it's, it's real as in it's there. But we all know that this is not a genuine Blythe. She's a tribute. <laughs> yes, rather than use the term fake, I'll use the term tribute. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> I think I'll have the colour on the orangey yellow eyes just for a little while. <laughs> Seeing as that there's yellow in her top. Well, she is absolutely lovely. Oh, well, yeah, there's there's a mark on her forehead. Hmm. Oh, dear. Well, so, yeah, she's definitely the worst condition doll I've ever had, which is why I'm warning you about her, not about her, about the shop. Yes, I think the vendor knew he had a bit of a dud when he sent her out to me when he showed me pictures and she looked fine in the pictures obviously oh well I won't be exchanging her um yes I'm I'm a bit shocked with how she was sent so don't go anywhere because you'll be seeing her very soon wearing the gorgeous Beth Ramsden shirt dress yay me I've got to make it first <laughs> see you in a bit before I show you the dress on this girl I thought I would show it to you on a traditional Blythe body and it looks fantastic. Yay! I am definitely going to be making more of this pattern. Absolutely. As for her knees, I fixed those thanks to the help of Blythe Me More YouTube channel. She has the solution. Uh, I followed her instructions absolutely every bit. With the help of these little screws, they are 7mm gold tapping screws from the eBay shop Shows Stuff. And yeah, it went perfectly well. Uh, her hip is still very, very wobbly. Unfortunately, I don't know what to do about that. There probably is something. But I have ordered her a traditional body uh, from AliExpress. Um, and when the body arrives that's when I'll add an extra pull string for her eyes so that she can have sleepy eyes because I always do that <laughs> it looks really good okay then let's put the dress on I've just realized that I forgot to show you my clothing label <laughs> I love it it's such a nice little touch and on the other side it says handmade oh I love this Oh, and don't worry, all the edges have been frayed checked. Oh, I've got so many labels. I love it. <laughs> and um, the edges where I cut them have been frayed checked. Oh, and uh, I knew where to cut because when I designed them, I put a dotted line there in the design, which really helped. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I think this dress looks adorable on her. Oh, I'm so glad I made it at last. Oh, in case you're wondering how I'm storing the backdrops, once I've ironed them, I put them on one of these things. I think it's a foam insulation thing. And I did tie them with rubber bands at first, but it squeezes them. It's not very nice. So let's see. I found this squeezy thing months ago on AliExpress and I thought oh that'll come in useful and it really does it's not very tight but it keeps them all in place and so it's not squeezing them so they don't need to be re the next time I use them 